had a great week and that you're in good health. I'm Webby. Welcome to today's episode. I've been reflecting on cycles this week, life cycles, behavioral patterns, and so on. And I thought to share a little of what I've been learning. This is, of course, a very wide subject, so this isn't in any way exhaustive. However, I thought it good to go on and share, nevertheless. I've been learning that sometimes you may put considerable effort into resolving conflicts, events, or incidences of whatever kind, but only go as far as the symptoms of the real problem or problems. Many times this could be because of not seeing past the said symptoms, but other times it could also be because of the fear of confrontation. Whether that's confronting the issue or a person, or when you're the one being confronted. I'm realizing that if one finds themselves dealing repeatedly with the same issues or circumstances in their lives, chances are that there's a cycle or cycles that need to be broken. And you do this by identifying their root cause. It could mean having an honest conversation with yourself. Call yourself for a meeting. Or with someone. It could also mean finally accepting a hard truth that you've been avoiding or deflecting from. I love the words in the song Cycles by Jonathan McRamos that say, and I quote, The devil learns from your mistakes, even if you don't. That's how he keeps you in cycles. It's a powerful song. Find that wherever you stream music. I also love what scripture says in Luke 10, 19, and that's this. Look, I have given you authority over all the power of the enemy, and you can walk among snakes and scorpions and crush them. Nothing will injure you. I've wondered in my reflection, how does the devil keep a person in a cycle, and yet they have been given authority over his power? Well, the answer is alluded to in those lyrics. If you refuse not only to learn but to break whatever cycle it is, you're effectively agreeing with it and subsequently with the devil. Yikes! (laughs) And that's essentially how you remain bound. Notice that there's a difference maker and that difference is you. You hold the cards. You decide what story makes the film and how it ends. I'll leave you with that at this point and with this for reflection. What cycles do you keep finding yourself in? But most importantly, what are you going to do about them? Well, have a good one. Be safe. And remember, wherever you are, in whatever way you can, to be love. I'll catch you on the next one.